We're joined now by Gaetan Vane, who's a journalist with the Swiss Broadcasting Corporation. He managed to get into Hama itself and left the city on Monday. So the Syrian government is saying that this was a successful operation to stop the rebellion. From your experience there and what people told you, do you think it's over? Is that what they're suggesting? I don't think it's over. I think that for now, the regime managed to keep the people at home. There won't be any demonstration during this beginning of Ramadan, what they were afraid of. But the people were very determined. Even after the tanks came in on Sunday and on Monday, they said, we will continue, we will go ahead, because all the blood that already been lost, all the people who already died, the martyrs, they are worth that we continue. Our life is less worth than what we want to do. We want to get rid of the regime because we do want our dignity back, our freedom, our equality. And this is worth too much to stop now. Okay. So it, Yes, so I don't think it's over. Now it's over in Hamad. The people don't go demonstrate. But we see, for instance, what happened now in Homs. Homs was repressed. People didn't go demonstrating, but people in Hama were demonstrating for Homs. Now repression is going on in Hama. People in Homs are going out saying, we are with Hama. So it goes like that all around the country. When they're Making repressing sure that somewhere they're keeping the momentum. The order, exactly, all the cities going out in favor of the city repressed. Let's talk about the pictures put out by Syrian state TV, basically alleging that the operation was also to stop armed gangs from looting, from armed gangs shooting on Syrian forces. Is that likely to be true from your experience? Uh, from my experience, no. In the 10 days I was in Hama before the entrance of the tanks in the city, I haven't seen any gangs, I haven't heard any shooting, except on the Saturday morning from the security forces and from the army. There weren't any looting, it was the, oppo the opposite, everybody was very, uh, everybody was together trying to demonstrate or to keep the city going on even with the, the siege around, around the, the city. So no, for me there were no gangs whatsoever before. And these images of people with weapons, I saw, I could say, five people with light weapons in hand on the Sunday morning on the barricades, uh, civilian people from the uh, citizen of Hama. But all the other ones who were on the barricade to defend the city were saying, oh, just get out of here. We still want our peaceful demonstration. We don't want any shooting from our side. So this was on Sunday morning. And at the same time, there were all the people saying, OK, we want peaceful demonstration. But look at that. And they were showing me the, the tanks. And look at that. What can we do facing the tanks? So maybe now some people have taken the few weapons they have to defend themselves. But it doesn't correspond to the images shown by the saw. Syrian TV, which is where really, I think this is made up. Now, this has prompted international reaction with uh, US, Germany and France say that they're going to take some kind of action. The US possibly might call for him to stand down. I don't think that's going to make any difference. Do you think hearing that kind of uh, ret rhetoric coming from the international community will make a difference for Syrians? Uh, it will help a little bit at least because when I was there they were saying okay uh, there's no reaction from the international community. They were watching what happened in, in Libya with uh, military intervention. So they didn't want that, but it at least wanted reaction, strong reaction from the international community against the regime. And before, before Hama happened, there wasn't much of it. So I think that now they're at least happy that people is paying attention to what's going on. Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot.